yes, finding the perfect album. It's that never ending quest for music lovers across every single genre. It's that hope that one day you'll be able to find an album where every note is exactly where it needs to be, every lyric flows perfectly into the next, and the album takes you on this amazing journey and teaches you something along the way, I suppose. But guess what? All of those elements and the idea of a perfect record aren't the same thing. The perfect album doesn't exist. There is not a single record from any genre, from any point in music history that is in fact perfect. Even on the albums where screwing up a little bit was a welcome thing, still, it's not a perfect record. Hell, even some of the albums that I talk about on this series that I label as perfect, you know what? They're not. If I really sat down and picked them apart, there's flaws on every single one of them without fail. Sometimes they're on the production side where you'll hear a pop or a click or part of a track that should have been muted, maybe somebody talking when they shouldn't have been, or maybe there's a guitar part that's a little bit out of tune, or maybe it should have just been done over in general. Or maybe it's just a lyric that completely misses the mark and screws the song up for just just a second. I mean, there's a massive list of minute details that can stop something from achieving sonic perfection. But here's the problem. So often I see somebody get completely crushed when someone else, for whatever reason, decides to go out and point these flaws out in their favorite album. And yeah, I'll admit it, I've been guilty of it once or twice, but never on purpose. Like I said, you gotta get over it. Your favorite album has flaws to it. It just does. But here's the thing. When people try and tear down your favorite album, use it to your advantage. Those little flaws are probably exactly what makes it perfect in your ears. It's why you have such a deep connection with it. I have no idea why all of a sudden I feel like Dr. Phil. But seriously, I've said it so many times, if you love an album, it shouldn't matter what anyone else has to say about it. That connection is between you and the record. There's no such thing as a perfect album, but there's countless records out there that can be perfect to you. Love your music, share your music, and who cares what people who don't like it have to say about the stuff that you love? It's that simple. <laughs>